So in this lesson, we're going to set up our store. So I'm logged into Kajabi under website design, and you'll see the store right here. When you click on this tab, you'll get a, a preview of your store and then click customize. So let me show you in this tab, this is what my store looks like. It's got the free course right here. It says store right here, and we're going to set that up. So on the left hand side, we've got sections. We've already set up our header and footer in previous lessons. And in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to set up the hero, which has store. So the text right here in the background image, and then our offer storefront. So to add the hero, uh, you'll go to add section and then go here and click on hero. Once you do that, it's going to give you this section right here. That's going to have text. So let's click on text. In this case, uh, I set it to eight columns. I could set it to 10 columns um, because it's just the word store. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, the, the wording will fit within this block. Then I typed in the word store and I've got this on heading two right here. And then I have it centered. So I go to format alignment center. So now that I've got store set up, I want to go to call to action and I want to turn off the call to action. So when you first install a hero, it comes with a call to action. So you just uncheck this box right here. So there's no call to action. Okay. And so we've turned off the call to action. Uh, I'm not using anything in typography. I haven't changed anything in the background settings. I haven't changed anything in the desktop settings. I haven't changed anything in the mobile settings and I'm not using an animation and I'm not using a time reveal. So once we have this all set up, let's click the back and you'll see we're still in the hero section, but now we want to set the background under section settings. So we're setting the background media type to an image and then I've uploaded this image, which it should be 2880 by 1200 pixels. I've got it set to center and then for the background color, you click on this and then you can choose, let's say I didn't want any background color. I could just do transparent, but if I do want a background color, let's say I wanted blue, it overlays it over this image. So in order to see it, I'm going to click on the color wheel and then I'm going to drag the opacity, uh, the ability to see through to where I want it on here. So just a little bit lighter. And really what you're doing is you're adding a little bit of contrast. So the word store stands out over this picture. So it doesn't get drowned out. All right. So we've got that set up and then on the desktop layout, I've let it, I've set it at the default, which is 100 pixels on the top, 40 left, 100 on the bottom, 40 right center alignment, uh, for vertical and horizontal. And then in our mobile settings, our mobile layout, I've got 40, 10, 40, 10, and those were the default settings and I'm not using a time reveal. So with that, we have our hero section set up. You always want to make sure you click save to make sure all your settings are saved. Let's go back. And now we're on to our offer storefront. If you didn't have the offer storefront already in here, you'd go to add section and then you'd go down. under offers and pricing, you have an offer storefront. Okay. Let's go to our offer storefront, which is right here. And we have a text block, um, which you'll see is this available courses and then our offer. So let's click on text block. I'm using the entire width. So 12 columns and it says available courses, which I'm using the H two and it's centered. So I typed in available courses. Then I clicked on formats, went to heading, went to heading two, and then I wanted it centered. So I went to format alignment center. Okay. I'm not using a call to action. So that is not turned on the typography. I'm not using the background. I haven't made any changes. The desktop layout. I haven't made any changes. The mobile layout. I have not made any changes. The, I'm not using the animation and I'm not using the time reveal. So we've got the text block now set up. So now we want to set up our offer. So let's click on offer. Now I set it to six columns. So as soon as I have another course available, 
it will shift this over to the left and have another column on the right. So then I would have two uh, available courses um, that would show side by side. So uh, the next thing I need to do is I need to choose the offer. So you just click this drop down, and then it's going to give you access to the different offers that you have available. Um, so let's say I wanted to add this uh, this offer at 297 instead of the free offer. So now it adds it in the 297 offer. In this case, right now I'm only offering the free course. Okay, here's the free course. And when they click on it, I want it to open in a new tab. And there's also this box that uh, I can check that says don't show if currently owned. So if you've got like multiple courses, you could check this. So then um, it only shows courses that they have not purchased. In this case, I'm not using it right now. Um, and then if we go to the background, um, I haven't made any changes to the background. And we're talking about the background of this block. And on the desktop layout, I haven't made any changes. For the mobile layout, I haven't made any changes. And then for animations, I'm using the fade animation. So fade to the right, zero delay. I want the animation to be one second. So let's just refresh this and we'll see. So you see how it just kind of slides in to the right. Okay, and I'm not using a time reveal on this. So now we have the offer settings set up. Let's click the back button. And the only thing we have left now is to go through our section settings. So you can see I've got a tan background, so I'm going to click background. And then right here, I've chosen tan, where if I chose a different color, for example, like purple, it would make the whole background purple. I'm going to leave it at tan. And then for the desktop layout, I've got the padding at 20, 20, 20, 20. Vertical alignment top, horizontal alignment center. And then on the mobile layout, I've got it at 20, 10, 20, 10, and I'm not using the time reveal. Okay, so now we've got all the settings, our section settings set up. We've got our text and our offer set up. Then let's click back. Let's go to sites. Let's click design. And now when you click on your store, this tab right here, it's gonna give you a preview of what your store looks like. So we've got our store all set up. And that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next.